Hi everyone, Stacy here. I just wanted to go over my five rules for studying in nursing school. The first rule is to know your learning style. If you were lucky enough to take the T's entrance exam when they were still having the portion where you learned um, how you learn, then you can find this uh, self-assessment learning styles on your ATI site um, under your previous exams. If you took the T's after they stopped requiring that, I recommend the VART questionnaire. Um, this was actually used for my new grad class to determine how we best learn so that our educator could um, design her material. The second rule is to have a dedicated study space. And I don't mean you need an office or a desk or anything like that, just some place where all of your study materials and resources are, it can be a desk, it can be one of these little craft carts um, that you can get from Aldi sometimes for just a few dollars um, with all of your resources, or it can even just be a study room at the school library. I know a lot of people, especially in community college programs, have children and spouses, and sometimes it's not realistic to study at home. But that's okay. I studied at school for most of my last year of nursing school, and I had all of my resources in a tote bag that I took back and forth with me. The third rule is to study schedule. Not just when you're going to study, how you're going to study, who you're studying with, all of the information. You put in the things that you absolutely have to do, class, work, appointments, things with your kids, etc. Then you put in your study time and, you know, 15 to 20 hours a week is probably a good, um, a good rule of thumb. The fourth rule is especially if you are at STLCC Miramac, know the three ways you should be studying. And that's by yourself with a group and coming to tutoring. No matter what your learning style is, everybody benefits from all three of these. And the fifth rule is to know what your resources are for studying. And I do not mean your textbooks. Absolutely do not mean that. If you try to read every word in your textbook, you will not have time to actually study for your exams because sometimes you might have 150, 200 pages, maybe even more per exam. There's literally no way to know all of that. But guess what? Your instructors have already told you what they think is important from your textbook. And if there's something in your book that they want you to read specifically, they will tell you the page numbers. Your first resources should be your PowerPoints. I created um, these types of PowerPoints where you um, have the lines for writing, the handouts with uh, three slides. You should be taking handwritten notes and recording your lectures, going back, re-listening to lectures, and writing down anything that you missed. I used the Notability app. I would upload these um, PowerPoint handouts into Notability, take notes directly on there while recording the lecture, and then you can like make a note of like where you missed and touch that and then Notability will start playing the lecture from there. Highly, highly recommend. It used to be free, it's no longer free, but I guarantee you will not regret it. It was a complete lifesaver when somebody told me about it 
drastically cut my study time down. Another option is outlines. So lots of times you have multiple resources. You have handouts, you have your lectures, your notes, your PowerPoints, all of that. I like to create an outline. On the right-hand side, you can see my outline with all of the notes. And then I would save it, save a duplicate, take the information out of the duplicate, leave the lines, and then I would fill this out with my study group. And it was a great way to make sure that we got through all of the material. Anytime anybody didn't understand something, we had other people there to explain it for us. Very rarely did we need to go outside of the study group to find somebody who understood the material. You should absolutely be doing practice questions. And I mean, in addition to any practice questions that are required for class, any practice questions given to you by the instructors. I really like this fundamental success book um, for uh, the fundamentals class specifically. It is broken down into topics that are typically covered in fundies. And based on what you are doing for that unit, you have a whole bunch of practice questions there for you. Flashcards. The thing about flashcards is they are great for rote memorization. They are not great for applying concepts. So I do, however, recommend the Level Up RN flashcards. I used them for um, like EKGs and um, pharmacology, that kind of stuff. And they were a great help. She even sometimes has little memory tricks on the cards for you. Um, make sure that the information on the cards matches what the information your instructors have given you. And what I would do is cross out anything that my instructors hadn't given me um, with pencil and then write in anything extra. Most of the time, I did not have to cross anything out. Most of the time, I was writing in a couple extra things that I had gotten from my class lectures. And then just some bonus things. How do you remember all of that information that you have gotten from, you know, maybe 20 hours of lecture for one exam? Mnemonic devices are great, like ADPI for the nursing process. Sayings, up with the good, down with the bad for remembering how to use crutches on stairs. And most of all, teach what you have learned. See one, do one, teach one. When you can teach somebody else what you have learned is when you have truly mastered a concept and will be ready for the test. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean a classmate. Um, if it is a classmate, great. Um, a spouse, your kids, partner, um, my, like your cat, your dog, uh, my, uh, your mom. I would call my mom on the way to and from school and um, sometimes go over stuff with her. If you have somebody in your life who can critically think and ask you questions based on what you are telling them, that is a huge, huge bonus. Both my mom and my spouse are great at that. And it was extremely helpful for them to ask me questions that made me think and um, sometimes provide more information that I didn't realize I had left out. There you go. Quick, easy, how you should be studying for nursing school to get you started for those upcoming practice exams and upcoming first exams.